Next one, failure to order, test, or make referrals. Okay, um, help me out with that one. Sure. Um, I'm on the. F I received a call this morning of a, p a client whose accident was five months ago, mm -hmm. and I referred him to a local neighborhood chiropractic physician within a week post accident. So he's been treating with that physician for almost five months. Okay. And now we're in the fifth month, and I'm ordering. I can. He's. He's. I, I understand he's at max medical improvement. So I'm ordering the charts, and he says to me, Brad, I still have this ankle issue. I'm five months after accident, and it's still swelling, and it's still giving me pain. And I asked him what the doctor's done, and the doctor said, well, he knew a few orthopedic physicians in town, but no one, none, not one of those would take an auto case. Mm -hmm. And he never did anything further to examine the subjective complaint. Okay. He or didn't do a physical exam. He didn't order. Di he didn't order an MRI. He did not. He did nothing. Okay. No X-ray. And so now, in the fifth month, he's now finally seen another doctor, and this other doctor is saying, "Yeah, let's order the MRI." I mean, you shouldn't be having complaints this long right. after the accident. Right. So now we're having an MRI this next week, mm -hmm. and obviously. Delayed diagnostic studies are going to result in delayed treatment, which is going to result in delayed final reports. Okay. Which is going to result in delayed pursuit of claim. Right. So it's important of uh, the primary treating physician to identify all of those primary complaints and to evaluate them, including by MRI if necessary. Mm -hmm and further referral if necessary. So what I'm hearing is um, make sure you're dealing with all of the primary complaints and either deal with them personally and move on them, act on them, Correct. or act on them by referring them out to get them moved on. Correct. Don't just leave them dormant. Correct.